Yay, yay, yay. Okay, I've been waiting for this, waiting for this, and it's finally here. I'm excited because it is going to be my Mother's Day present to my mom, and I might just be able to finish it before Mother's Day. So, um, this is what I got her. My mom loves hummingbirds. Every chance I get, I get her something hummingbird. So, of course, since I've started diamond painting, I had to do a hummingbird. This is from Zuya Factory Store. It's a 30 by 40. This is round drill. I thought, yay, that'll make it a little bit faster for me. Um, it, the regular price was $10.01. I got it on sale for $9.24 from the AliExpress sale. This took 28 days to get here. I know, that's only four weeks, but that's one of the longest ones. This was from my original order on the 28th, and it's one of the last ones to get here. I got the other one. There's still one more out, though, but, man, some of them are taking a while. So it's a beautiful hummingbird. I'm excited to do it. Hopefully it'll be quick and I can get it done before Mother's Day. I have opened the package. Yep. So. Toolkit. White boat. Just a single place for pen. Wax. All right. Um, let's do canvas. Yeah, let's do canvas. It's got a couple little rubber bands on it. We'll get those off there. Little rubber bands. It's on a foam roller, so that's nice. Not taped or anything, so we're ready to go. Okay. So let's uh, unwrap it a little bit here and unroll it. And it's tight. All right, let's go this way. Let's pull back some paper. One piece of paper here. So let's, let's see how we do with the tearing situation. One piece. You get one piece off without tearing it. Hey, it's a good day. It's a really good day if you get one piece off without tearing it. All right, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Bring this up here and show you the drill field, the symbols. They look pretty good. They look pretty good. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, I see. No, it's just that they have circles around them on the legend here. So they look, they look a little funny on the legend. See, the symbols are kind of hard to tell what they are on the legend. Oh, man. They might be a little hard to tell what they are on the canvas, too. Oh, we'll see. All those circles... And that's a like a turnaround sign right there, I think. And let's go closer. See what you think. See like that right there? I don't know. I don't know what that is. A triangle in a circle? Hmm. I don't know. They're gonna be a little tricky, maybe. That thing right there? Oh. Oh. Well. We shall see how that goes, right? <laughs> I just don't know. All right, let's undo this paper a little. Oh, there's a big old hummingbird beak right there. Big long hummingbird beak. It's 30 by 40, or 40 by 30, because it goes landscape. So the 40 comes first, right? So it's 40 by 30. Um, sorry, that was my dishwasher. <laughs> Closing. All right. So, here's what we got. Okay. The hummingbird is, you know, definitely clear on there. It pops right out. You can tell it's a hummingbird. The drill stuck on the back of this. That's always interesting how that happens. I mean, it's pretty. I hope that the symbols are not going to drive me crazy. They might. You know, they're kind of... Mm. Light pad. Okay, just let's just count on the light pad. Yeah. Count on the light pad working. Let me see if I can lay this flat and I'll get the foam roller out of here and lay it down better. Let it flatten out a bit. Okay. Foam roller out. Lay it down. So that's... The canvas looks really nice. I mean, there aren't any wrinkles or rivers or anything weird in it like that, so it looks really good. Um, I think the colors will be gorgeous. How can you not have gorgeous colors when you're doing a hummingbird, right? 
Let's see if we can do this in one fell swoop. Swoop, we did. I like the I like the drill packaging already because it's done with gold. The gold, I don't know for some reason. I think the gold numbers just show up better when you put the gold lettering on there. I think they show up better. I, that could be me, but I just think they show up really nicely, even on you know dark colors. And there's not a whole lot of super dark colors here, but. I think that that gold shows up really nice on there. So we got grays and just a lot of pinks and purples and a little bit of yellow. Here's some pinks, different pinks. Love this color. Okay, if I could pick a favorite color besides purple, it would be that one. <laughs> and then lots of purples. Lots of purples. And more purples. There's my favorite purple. I people talk about this one all the time. 550. 550 is a rockin' purple, right? Yeah, lovely, gorgeous colors. They're rounds. I think I, rounds are still so much faster for me. And there's 30 of them. Here's our inventory sheet, and there's our little butter, or not our butterfly, our hummingbird again. Um, the symbols are interesting. They're, I don't know. Hopefully, when I put this on my light pad, it'll work out okay. So, I have to get this one kitted up today because I have about two weeks to get this done before Mother's Day. So, I like that they tell you right down here at the bottom. Drill number 310, 3865, 5200. Three colors have big bag. <laughs> One bag, one small bag equals 200 pieces. One big bag equals 1,000 pieces or five small bags. Well, now you know. All right. Okay. I got to get it kitted up, inventory it, kit it up, and get busy. You'll see it soon. Add a little clip in here before I finish this and do the complete review. Um, because one of the things I'm going to talk about is this simple clarity. It doesn't look too bad in my phone. And these are not the worst symbols, but this is all super, super light. Like, okay, for example, look at this one right here. See this right here? Let's see, find it. That is like an and symbol. It's really hard to tell what it is. All right? Um, down here we've got nines and eights, which are very similar. They're close. They're harder to tell in real life. This D. Ds blend in because they've got the circles around them. Um, and it's kind of hard to decipher the D sometimes from an E, a capital E. It will look very similar. The only difference is you get an extra little line across the middle. Um, and these, like I said, they don't look too bad in the camera. But, you know, if you look at it up close in person, and some of the symbols are harder than these. Too light. Too similar. These guys right here, these were hard to tell what they were. These little horseshoe things. They tended to look like other things. Yeah, um, not the best. All right, well, it's done. So here is the the finish, the reveal, the talk about. All right, so, I mean, it looks really pretty. I turned out well. The colors are gorgeous. I liked the pinks down here in the flowers a lot. Um, the body turned out pretty good. Some of the greens in the body. The head is nice. There's this weird spot right here where the throat is that looks a little funny. I'm not sure about. I'm not, no, I don't know if I'll even leave it like that. But when you look at the thumbnail, the thumbnail shows that there's this lighter gray like throat part. It just seems to be like there was head which was purple, and then there's gray, which was neck, and it's just like, 
cut his head off later, and I don't know. It looks a little funny to me. I'll have to decide if I leave it. I don't know. This wing right here, again, in the thumbnail, it's kind of brownish tan. It's supposed to be looking like see-through, sort of. I don't know if I like it in the big picture, the big scheme of things. This one in the back is just a little flutter, and that one's cool. That one looks good. Um, so there's that. I mean, it's pretty. My mom would never, it's for my mom for Mother's Day, you know. She would never judge it. She would think it's just beautiful. She's going to love it. Um, so let's talk about some of the issues. The little video I showed just before this little clip talked about some of the symbols, and those were not some of the worst. So one of the main problems I had with this canvas, the canvas was great, the glue was terrific, there was no problems with any of that. The whole thing was printed pretty light, okay? Everything was pretty light, which made it hard to see. And some of the symbols were so close, like there was an E and an 8, and they were both purple, and they looked very, very similar. And I had to, like, go... Sometimes I'd have to turn my light pad on really bright, sometimes off, sometimes medium. I'd pick out, okay, these are eights. This is an eight for sure. And then I would more like paint by color. Oh, yeah, eight, 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 eight. eight. And I'd try to get all the eights and not mix them up with like the capital Bs, which were also in the purple family, but they had a little brown tinge to them. It was kind of difficult. So once I'd get on a roll with one color, I'd just kind of start picking out that color and it would go okay. But if it would have been printed darker, it would have been easier. All of the symbols had the circle around them, which made it difficult as well. Okay, so there's the finished, completed painting. That's what it looks like. It's, it's pretty. I loved this green. This was really nice. Here's my trash. And let me tell you, there could have been more. There could have been a lot more trash. A lot of these drills had Pac-Man syndrome. You know, they had the little divot out of one side to make them look like a Pac-Man. Um, and there were a lot of drills that were larger or smaller. Um, and I can't, you can't really tell that they Pac-Man on here. When it goes together, you can't really pick them out. And that's a good thing that you can't tell. But I could have, you know, if I was trashing all of those, you know, I would have had a lot. Because there's a lot of them that pac man um, I was finishing this up. I was down to this last section here, and I ran out of this color. <laughs> I ran out of the purple. Luckily, it was 550, and I have several paintings I've done with 550 so far, and I had spares, so I could go to my stash and get them. I was about 50 or so short in the dark purple. It was the only one I ran out of, but... I got very, very nervous with some of them, okay? I do have drills left for everything else, okay? Here's my empty one. See, nothing there. Um, but look at this one. That's all there is left of that one. I was getting really nervous with a couple of these colors, especially after I'd finished, look at that one, just a few. So... I didn't run out of anything else. As a matter of fact, there's quite a few left of everything else. It was just that one color I ran out of and a couple that I got this blue made me really nervous. It's one of the last colors I was just finishing and it made me really nervous. Anyhow, it's done. It's finished. It's beautiful. I would, you know, I would not say the company's terrible. I wouldn't say that. I would say this canvas needed to be printed darker Maybe they were running out of ink. I don't know. Um, I do have a couple color choice questions on these two. I don't know. Um, but it really does kind of look like the picture, the photo. That's from a photo. So it does kind of have those colors in the photo. So I guess it followed the photo like it should. Um, the drills could have been better for sure. Um, I'm going to pick through these drills. I'm going to go through them one color at a time and see if they're decent and I want to save them. If I find the ones that had a lot of Pac-Man in them, I'm just going to trash them. So, yeah, there it is. Done. Complete. Ready for Mother's Day. I will frame it and I will give it to her.
tomorrow, actually. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Bye. I had to add this part to the end of this video since I was framing it right now, and this is kind of a cool way to frame. I've never used one of these. It's a floating frame. Okay, so there's a piece of glass in here, and there's another piece of glass, a double piece of glass. All right. And so there was this gasket, I'm going to call it a gasket, that holds the second piece of glass in. So I just undid this, pulled the gasket out, pulled the second piece of glass out, and then here's my picture. It comes with mounting strips, little tabs, and I'm just going to um, I'll move this over so you can see. I have measured this out. If I mess this up, I'll be mad. I've measured this out with a tape measure and just laid it down. It's all nice and even. I didn't put any marks or anything. And I've got the little tabs on the back. So hopefully they're stuck pretty good. And we can just go in here and pull off the paper. And the sticky will still be on there almost seems to be coming off though. Yep, it's coming off. Okay, so I don't know how we get the paper off without getting the sticky. Try to rub that on there pretty good. Get all the edges really good. Let's try it again from another side. Let's make sure this is all nice and... If I have to just get out some double-sided sticky tape, I'm sure it will work in the same fashion. It's kind of like, there we go. It's kind of like peeling back the paper off a canvas <laughs> and you don't want the glue to come up with it. Yeah, it's like that. All right, so we got one corner adhered. Okay, I'm just going to push it on there. Try not to move this at all because like I said, I measured the whole thing out. I don't know if you can see this corner or not, but all right, we rub, 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 make sure it's nice and stuck on there and then find us a corner that we can start to peel the paper off. It's just like trying to peel the paper off of a canvas and you don't want the, the glue to come off, the adhesive to come off. It's kind of like that. All right, let me see if I can get it here. I just cut my nails last night. I came back from camp and my nails were, no, that's coming off. My nails were just all mangled up, and I just decided to cut them off. And now I could use them. <laughs> and this is coming off. Okay, I'm going to play with this for a little bit, and I'll come right back, okay? Um, and you don't have to sit here and watch me struggle with these. You get the point of what I'm doing, but you don't have to watch me struggle. So I'll be back when I get those pulled off. What I did is I just scrub, scrub, scrubbed on those edges with my nail and made sure they were nice and tight, okay? And then you could peel that off. I'm trying not to touch this inner glass at all because I don't want to get fingerprints on the inside of it. On the back, I don't really care. I can clean that off. But once I put this, as a matter of fact, um, I'm going to just give this a little wipe around the inside edge here. I've washed it with some Windex. I don't want to touch the inside because once I put this glass back in, it is inside the frame and I won't be able to clean it. The back, I can get to to clean. So let's make sure it's nice and clean around the edge. And then make sure I put it in the right way. So my hanging part is here. Okay. So here's my hanging part. You can see on the back where the um, the little adhesive strips, oh, you can't see them, no, they're completely clear, but where it adhered that canvas, I just put one in each of the four corners, there you can see it right there, put one in each of the four corners, okay? Now we flip this guy over, as he goes upside down, like this, and he goes right back in this frame, okay, just like that. And then you take your little gasket holder inner thing on the bob, 
that slides in here. Okay, goes right in the frame. Okay, and this has got to go down in a little bit better. And it goes the other way. Let's see. Because um, then this goes over the gasket. Okay. But it's not in enough. So maybe this glass has to go in a little different. Um, maybe we just need to push it down a little bit. I think that's what we need to do. We just need to push it down a little bit. Um, get the gasket all in. It, oh, it snaps in there really tight. That's, get it snapped in there really good. Give this whole thing kind of a little push. And then these little guys bend to just turn over the gasket. Okay. Hold that all in there nice and tight. It, it, you see that side popping up? I just gotta get it in here. Get it in there really good and tight. And push. Just push it down. Yeah. Push it down in there. And it all kind of settles in. Okay? Yeah. Just like that. Okay? When we get all these turned, we should be able to flip this over. And our butterfly, our butterfly, yes, it's been a long day, okay? Our hummingbird, yeah, just give it a real snug push when you turn those. And everything just kind of goes back in there, okay? There. And he should just... Hang in there. What a cool way to frame a, a hummingbird, right? Let it float, literally float in the air. All right, I think I got all of these. That gasket type thing wants to move a little bit, but I think if I get every single one of them in there, like this, this one's not quite on there. And then when you flip it over, he floats. <laughs> he floats in the air. Is that pretty? Oh. Okay, further away, closer. How do I get it all in here? There we go. Right, you can see my counter and everything behind it now. <laughs> Isn't it pretty though? It just floats in the glass. That's sweet. I like it. Ooh, look. I like it. Ooh, look at it. You can see all the way around it. That's cool. Get a lot of reflection in there, I realize, but that's pretty neat, isn't it? So there's another framing idea, and that's what's super simple. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me see if I can. Oh, look. Look at that. You can see right there. Up. See my kitchen, my messy table, and everything right through the frame. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, though? Well, it's ready. I did it. Got it finished before Mother's Day, and it's pretty. She's going to love it. Well, once again, um, now this is really, truly the end of the video, so thank you for coming by and spending some time with me and going on some more of my crazy crafting adventures with diamond painting. See you on the next one. Bye.